Well, guys, it's a tale as old as time. A new GTA is finally releasing, and people who haven't played a video game since the days of Pac-Man are up in arms. It wouldn't be a GTA release without it. If you are a person who was involved in the gaming world for basically any point in time that you've been alive when a GTA has been released, you would know this is nothing new. GTA has been controversial since the very beginning, and the release of Grand Theft Auto 3 launched it into the spot of what is likely the most controversial video game title ever. Ever since those two brothers shot a couple of people and then told police they did it because they were bored and wanted to mimic GTA, you can't even mention the title without it causing an argument somewhere. So seeing a bunch of things on Twitter ever since the release of the GTA 6 trailer about how GTA 6 needs to be banned and how it's corrupting our youth is not a surprise, it's just an expectation. But the backlash directed towards this release specifically, I think, is by far the most laughable. Now if you have absolutely no idea what I'm talking about, well, welcome back to society from your coma. But two days ago, Rockstar dropped the long-awaited trailer for GTA 6. And it's been kind of nutty. It's been the number one trending video on YouTube since its release, and in just two days, it's gotten over 100 million views, which is ridiculous. I honestly don't think it would be an understatement to say that this is the most awaited game release, like, ever. The level of hype around this game is sort of hard to explain if you have no idea about Grand Theft Auto, but it's big. Okay, but I'm sure you already know that what we're going to be talking about today is not really the GTA 6 game or trailer itself. More so, we're going to be focusing on the internet's reaction to it and the absolute absurdity of the Twitter hive mind of people complaining about this trailer. But before we do that, I would like to real quickly shamelessly plug my limited edition makeshift glow-in-the-dark plushies, people. These beautiful little duckies that will light up your room while you sleep are available for a limited time only. There's only nine days left to get yourself one. If you want one, then they are gone forever. Also, if you're interested in winning one, I'm going to be doing one more giveaway over on my Instagram. So if that's something you're interested in, be sure and give me a follow. There will be a link both to the plushie product page and my Instagram in the description. But that's enough shameless advertising. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know. Please forgive me. It's time to talk about Twitter, baby. Fun. So if you haven't seen the GTA 6 trailer yet, I would recommend giving that a watch. I'm not really going to be showing it in this video because there's been some stuff stinky stuff going on with copyright, and I don't really want this video to get striked, so, uh, sorry, but you will probably not really have an idea of what I'm talking about if you haven't at least seen the trailer. So, you know, go get that context, my friend. Now, there's two main things that Twitter seems to be complaining about with this game. One of them being that there is this make-believe connection between Rockstar and subsequently this game and the war going on right now. That idea and the people perpetrating it are so insane that I'm not even going to touch it because there's genuinely no point. Also, I'm just not going to get into a topic like that on my channel. So if that's what you came for, I apologize. What we're going to be talking about is the second thing that Twitter seems to have an issue with when it comes to this game, and that is the same thing that people have been complaining about when it comes to this game for the last 20 years, the nature of the gameplay. Now what inspired this video was this tweet I saw by Elon Musk. I think I've gone my entire channel's duration without muttering that name, so uh, I guess it was a good run. But when the trailer came out, he replied to this tweet of this guy saying he's never played a GTA game, and his response was try but didn't like doing crime. GTA 5 required shooting police officers in the opening scene, just couldn't do it. Keep in mind, this is the same guy who complains about social media censorship and modern society being too soft. This tweet is absolutely hilarious to me because of the mental image I get. Just Elon sitting down after a long day of work back in 2013. He's got his brand new copy of GTA 5. He's never heard of the series. He thinks that he's about to play as a district attorney prosecutor criminals who have committed Grand Theft Auto, and then just the sheer horror on his face as he realizes, oh no, oh god, I'm the bad guy, throwing the controller to the ground. I can't do it! I can't do it! Now, I'm gonna go against my better judgment here and give Elon the benefit of the doubt. I think this is probably engagement bait just meant to appease his audience. This seems like a tweet that his fanboys would love. But if this is meant sincerely, this is so stupid. This is like saying you can't play Madden because you couldn't bear the thought of accidentally injuring a virtual player. I mean, tweets like this are comical, but they also help open my eyes. Because if a person tweets this and they mean it, it suddenly makes a whole lot more sense why 
they'd want to ban a game like GTA, because maybe they are truly incapable of separating a video game from reality, and they think nobody else would be able to do it either. This kind of mindset leads to other tweets like, we need to ban GTA 6. In a world of OnlyFans and rampant porn, this game is going to make young people's mental health much worse. When I see stuff like this, when I see these kinds of narratives being pushed, I don't even really know where to begin. Like, there's so many ways to dissect this and be like, what you're saying is ridiculous, it's silly, that I'm like a kid in a candy shop, I don't know where to start. I guess I'll start here, and this is something we'll see in a lot of other tweets. This idea that porn is like somehow new, that OnlyFans is gonna be the downfall of society. People have been seeking out means to see other people naked and paying for those means since the dawn of humanity. And it wasn't really until the last couple of hundred years where that became something to be ashamed of. I feel like we're almost going backwards. Things that should not be taboo are now getting more and more unacceptable. I will admit that it's hard to go onto Twitter these days and click on basically any popular thread and not see somebody's advertisement for their naked body. And that is something that I can agree on is becoming a little bit too normal. I should be able to look at a discussion about a basketball game without somebody's naked stinky butt filling up my screen. But outside of stuff like that, if you care what people are doing in the privacy of their own homes, that some random person has a private OnlyFans locked behind a paywall, it's not being shoved in your face, and some people want to pay for it behind closed doors and not say anything about it, then you don't have many real issues to worry about. But none of that is really even relevant because the stuff in this game, the things people like this are referring to, are like clips of a virtual woman twerking or being inside of a strip club. This game has nothing to do with OnlyFans or porn. It's hilarious to me because it's always people like this who are complaining about woke people and how society is so soft and then they go on Twitter and cry because they see a woman dancing. It's not the 1400s people anymore. Get over yourself. Nobody has to live their life based off your silly prudish standards. Also, the implication that GTA 6 is is somehow making these things a reality. It makes me think these people have never been outside. Grand Theft Auto games have always been satires on society. If you've ever partied in Miami, ever been to Miami for spring break, a lot in this trailer looks familiar. I mean, it's not like GTA 6 is inventing women in bikinis and women twerking. Even if it was, who cares? If you go your entire life desperately trying to convince yourself that you can't appreciate a nice butt, you're gonna die a sad person. I mean, seriously, if GTA were to have invented twerking, I would be thanking Rockstar. I mean, seriously, do these people wake up one day and just decide, okay, I'm never having fun again. My personality from here on out is a boring person on Twitter who complains about everything. I just don't get it. The other side of the coin is obviously people complaining about the violent nature of the gameplay. We've got this awesome quote from none other than Andrew Tate. I'm not a fan of anyone under the age of 18, 21 maybe, playing video games where the goal is to shoot police officers. Now, not only is this a ridiculously stupid analysis of what GTA is, it's also unbelievably ironic that Andrew Tate, of all people, is trying to act concerned about the effects that media has on teenagers. This is the guy who has rotted the brains of like half the 12 to 16 year old boys out there. But the simple matter of fact is that GTA is a game intended for adults. Are people under 18 gonna play it? Absolutely, let's not play stupid here. But that's not not really Rockstar's issue. That's a parent's responsibility to gauge whether or not they think their child is mature enough to play a game. When I was like nine years old, I convinced my parents to let me get Call of Duty 4, and while my dad didn't like that Captain Price said the word damn a lot, my parents really didn't have a problem with me playing a shooting game because guess what? They knew how to raise a child, and I was taught that a video game is <gasps> not reality. Just like the movies you watch, or the shows you watch, or the books you read, or on reality, it's no different with a video game. A person who is taught how to separate fiction from reality will have no problem playing a game like GTA, just like they wouldn't have a problem watching the movie The Godfather, or any other violent movie. It should not be the responsibility of the entire world to make sure that irresponsible parents are parenting their children. Everything that might be inappropriate for someone under the age of 18 to do should not be banned because people can't teach their children to not do it, or how to do it responsibly. If we were to ever try and heed something like this, it would be an absolute disaster. You ban GTA because kids can't separate it from reality? Okay, what's next? Do we need to ban Forza because it's gonna encourage kids to street race? Would we need to ban Subnautica because some kid might drown trying to build a base at the bottom
bottom of the ocean. Should we ban the NBA 2K series because people have broken their ankles playing basketball? While we're at it, we might as well ban any media, video games, TV, movie, books, whatever it might be, that portray any sort of crime being committed against any other person because you never know what it might inspire. Am I being a little bit facetious? Yeah, maybe, but you get my points. Once again, the people of Twitter have proved that they are unable to interpret anything with any sort of nuance, and if they didn't have their Twitter friends constantly fueling the hive mind to telling them what to think, they would probably not have any sort of thoughts. Just an empty head. Well guys, what do you think? Am I part of the problem? Am I fueling the downfall of society by going on record saying that I like butts, and that GTA 6 will in fact not start a global nuclear war? Have I gone too far with these statements? Maybe I have. Unfortunately, however, I do not really care. If you're a person who stumbled across this video and you've made it this far, and you happen to think that GTA 6 should be banned, I would try and say that I respect your opinion, but I do not, so, uh, I don't know. Go outside. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, and walk on over to that subscribe button, and touch it. It's free. It won't cost you anything. But for now, that's all I have for you today. Bye.